Hello, everyone. It's Raven of Raven67854 Gaming. And once again, yes, I am back. Look, it's like the sixth day straight of this now. Although, to be fair, I actually have recorded these, you know, a lot of these in advance. Um, because, you know, Factorio is a lot of fun, and I just kind of keep playing and playing and playing and playing and playing. Um, but still, you're actually talking to me from the past. Yeah. Still counts, though. Anyhow... So, in the last video, um, you know, we got our nice little tin production sort of set up. We have our just, wow, look how pretty this is. You know, we got our, you know, iron and stuff set up. And my phone keeps going. And uh, we want to turn that on mute because we don't want that. Okay, so do I need anything? I need a bit of wood. Uh, let's go get some wood over here. And we're going to massively, and I mean massively, uh, expand our, uh, our beautiful and glorious. Now, what's this require? Iron plate, basic circuit board basic circuit board an iron plate what's this one require you know honestly could automate these could set up like a small tiny 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 little uh production area maybe like right here where we produce just just a just a little bit of these things maybe we should do that first i don't know everyone I don't know. Like it's a, you know, it's 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 a tough call. Hmm. What do we want to do when it comes to that? Well, if we are gonna do that, which by the sounds of it, I have full intentions of doing that, because all I'm doing anyway is just grabbing these tin plates and then just doing that. So might as well waste a little bit of time doing that. So hopefully this can reach from here to here, because otherwise, uh, huh. we're going to have to, like, do a lot of uh, dragging around that I'm not, oh my goodness, perfect fit, perfect, perfect fit. It's like the greatest thing ever, a perfect fit. All right. Okay, so, um, hmm. yeah, I think I'll just use, all right, so wait, 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 what does this need? Iron gears, actually, that's also going to need iron gears. And the basic transport belt. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, we'll just use a splitter. I don't have a splitter. I will make one. Okay. And we got the new science. And that requires a basic transport belt and so forth. But, yeah, like I said, we just we don't have the, the resources to really set up that level of science yet. Um, but there's tons of other stuff we can do here. Advanced nickel. What? Um. Huh. Neat. Uh, that's for bronze warehouses. A washing plant couldn't be, you know, shouldn't be too bad. Let's go to the bottom here. Okay, yeah, it's it's called that. What does lead take? Nothing. Ooh, good. All right. Uh, wait. What does the iron plate one require? Nope. Iron, 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 just 
12. Wow. And it makes 120. Jeez. And that stuff's like not even stacking up over there. Like that thing is just spitting it out like crazy. Okay. Um. Ooh. Expands your inventory. Well, as much as I would like a massive inventory expansion, like I'll get this first. Um, let me make sure that this is all right. Yeah, this is okay. I mean, it's... You know, it's, it's removing as fast as humanly possible and... Look at that. Almost have a thousand just stacked up in there. All right, let's let's get this ball rolling. We're we're delaying because, you know, we don't want to do this next part. <laughs> and it's totally understandable why we don't want to do this next part. Um So Oh man. Yeah, I'm going to have to move this over one. Uh let's see here. And then wait, do I have the long arm inserters? I cannot remember for the life of me. Yes, I do. Okay, pick up top position. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> All righty. And that's where we'll put that. And we're just going to have this bad boy just, you know. Wow. That's kind of impressive. Yeah, I don't know if this will... Uh... I don't know if this will, will be enough. Um... I mean, obviously, later on, you know, we need to, you know, feed it with more, you know, iron. But, uh, geez. Oh, well, we'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to that bridge. Um, I mean, we might, we might not produce as much as we'd like from over here, but. Should be okay. All right. So the next belt that we need comes from here. And it just wants iron plates and tin plates and then the basic gear. So there's a couple different ways we could really do this. Because, um, yeah, my, my goal here is to, you know... Oh. Well, fiddlesticks. All right. <clears throat> Do I have any storage chests here? Um I do. I do, I do, I do. Awesome. Okay. So that's being fed one of the things. Uh, tin won't be too hard to get because tin's just literally like right over here. Like, come on. I mean, it's a, it's a little slow, but you know, okay. Wow. Um, I do have some of these though.
That is pretty crazy. All right, let's just get this belt, you know, kind of fed over here. Um, oh my goodness. We are just running out of, and I mean literally everything. Oh my goodness. Like, this is crazy. Um, yeah, this factory is slowly becoming a, uh, a little bit of a, uh, a nightmare as it were. Uh, and I don't necessarily mean that in a bad way. It's just, no, actually, you know what? No, I kind of do this. This factory is totally becoming a nightmare. It's just, um, you know, just, we're just, we're just feeding stuff from, you know, literally from wherever to, you know, our lovely little, uh, you know, point here all right and I didn't actually want to do that but I mean that's probably fine I'll probably need that later too I need a few of these <clears throat> Now, I will say probably one of the biggest problems that we're going to have is once again, you know, oh, goodness. Okay, so now we just need to connect this thing up. Okay. Okay. And I will grab another chest because, I mean, I'm going to need the chest anyway. Where am I being maneuvered to? Uh, I'll just put it here. Let me grab one of these and just lock it there. Put that there. Grab one of these. I'll just empty it onto the belt. Wow, that's like the slowest, the world's slowest moving belt right there. Look at that thing. My gosh. Okay. There we go. I had time to like goof off and everything and look at that all right and now i'm i'm making a belt it's not you know perfect or anything but you know we're making some iron chests like i said it's not exactly you know perfect um okay so uh, what we need to do now is get started on the next expansion area. And I'm going to make another that requires electronic making, which we most certainly do not have. This is actually starting to stack up, which is both kind of a, oh, no, never mind. It's not stacking up at all. False alarm, everybody. False alarm. Alarm. And there I thought for a second it was kind of stacking up. I was wrong. All right. I'm going to get back some of my spare plates there. Um, yeah, okay. I mean, at least, at least half is starting to go, you know, one way and then the other half goes the other way. So it's not the... It's not the end of the world and it won't be you know by any stretch of the imagination we will not be you know pulling from here anytime soon um and at least it's only like a portion of it that's going up there so uh, but the rate the tin and stuff grows i don't really feel like it'll be too big of a deal okay so what we're probably going to do is mostly spend most of this video uh, down here in this nightmare. Oh, yes. Yes, we will probably be spending almost the entire time we play in this beautiful, chaotic nightmare mess of this. Okay, so... We produce a monstrous amount of copper. Um, 
And and the main thing is because this yield is huge. Like it's three times the size of the other one. But you know, the other big problem we're gonna have with this is the fact that um this belt just cannot support you know this much luckily though for everybody involved um actually i don't know maybe it can actually support this much it's hard to tell It's it's actually legitimately hard to tell. Um, so, I think I'll just feed it this way. Um, and let it just fill up and then send in. The next thing we're going to need, of course... Mm is we're going to need some rock crushers, ore crushers, rock crushers, ore crushers. And we're going to need about another 5 million of these things. Oh, this is going to be super fun. Um, super, super fun. Because, uh, you know, it's only really going to double the amount of ore. So yeah all right so we're just gonna you now i would say we're just gonna shut this off but it really doesn't matter does it <laughs> it doesn't matter at all actually in fact um it doesn't matter one bit oh There we go. Uh, I love that, you know, uh, shift left click, shift right click to, you know, copy stuff over. Oh, man, it's so nice. And the belt moved ever so slightly. So long as this belt stays fully saturated, I really don't care too much. And it, it will stay fully saturated. Um... These, however, have to be turned because they are not turned properly. And, uh, well, that's just silly. Oh, good. Good. I totally will make another five of those. Make a whole bunch of these. All right. While that goes, we're just going to... There we go. Another really nice thing about this particular method is that, um, you know, we're, we're not going to have the, uh, we're not going to have to manage all of the, uh, you know, furnaces and everything ourselves. Now, <clears throat> I actually have another factory that I've been working on in creative mode. So, you know, it's rather impressive if, you know, I say so myself, it, it is actually quite impressive. Uh, however, that particular factory is also um, a little more on the unrealistic side. But um, I've been, like, prototyping, like, you know, the end result of what will become, you know, this factory. And uh, so, yeah, that, that, that is certainly a uh, very interesting uh, thing there. Um, I'm just going to dump you know, all of those onto the belt. There we go. I didn't want all that in my inventory. Okay. So the two, uh, or sorting facilities should be able to manage. Now let me, let me try to figure out 
make sure that I, I get these uh, right. Um, because, yeah. Now, the good news is, is that we are building up some slag. And there's a lot of stuff we can do with the slag. You know, if we absolutely have to, we can throw the slag into a crusher and just break it down into rock and then just turn the rock into something. Um, you know, it's it's not like, you know, we're forced to, uh, you know, endure this as it were. Okay. I mean, this is not bad. Um, once again, though, it's certainly not capable up to the task, but you know, the, the science bottles do get priority, uh, over the thing. And by the looks of it, since we don't really actually have that many, uh, of those yet, uh, it's going to stay that way for quite some time. I'm just going to grab some carbon. Okay, so the next thing we're going to need is we're going to need a blast furnace. Um, I don't have hardly enough to complete this because I seriously lack tin. Tin. I keep calling it tin. I, I have no earthly idea why. Uh, no, I lack... Uh, seriously? I lack the wood to do this? I really... Oh, I like the bricks. Yeah, once this is fully rolling, there's going to be a lot more, uh, you know, bricks being made. Fortunately, I can just run over here. It's fine. I mean, that's already backed up, but yeah, it's kind of backing up there. That's... I don't know, that's that's not good. Although I guess I could just make another storage chest somewhere and then, you know, move stuff over. Um I guess no, landfill requires something else. Pump jacks, automation. Heat pipes are interesting. Um the heat pipe power source uh and heat exchangers, nuclear power, uh heat exchanger. Turns into, oh, you need a boiler three. That's kind of interesting that you can get the heat pipes and all that stuff pretty early on. A hatchery. Well, none of that seems remotely good. Um, yeah, because that'll just drain. Uh, you know, iron and tin and so forth. Um, I know that that would be better for, you know, silicate processing, but um, yeah, this is really backing up. Uh, oh boy. Well, since I'm here. And there we go. And that'll easily meet demand, probably very easily. Um, won't be any backing up or anything like that, which is good. Um, don't particularly care too much if, you know, this portion here is full because it's fine. I'll probably never pull from this. This will just remain until I move it anyway. Okay, let's get back to the task at hand and stop getting sidetracked fixing bottlenecks and other parts of the facility. Oh, yeah, I was looking at that. Basically, one in the middle. Okay. Jeez. Oh, there they are. All right. All right, can two of these even fit? Like, and they need to have how much space between them? Good lord. Um, I'm just going to drag this down. So I'm just going to remove all of this junk. As it is. This is junk. Alright. Okay. 
Oh, good. I have another 50 of those. So yeah, like I was saying earlier, I have this, you know, beautiful factory uh, that I've been working on. And um, it, it, it really is really nice. Uh, I mean, it, it obviously still has an enormous amount of, uh, you know, issues due to, you know, what it is and all that sort of stuff. Um, I don't think we need any more than uh, four just just because you know uh and then yeah we want to just do this and then we just want to do this and we'll just drag this up i mean i'm trying to produce the same thing okay yeah yeah i mean obviously of course doing this in the yellow belts would be a much better idea but I don't really have very many of those. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, the absolute first thing we're going to do, is I'm just going to go over here, and I am going to immediately uh, get the slag off the line. Um. Da, 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 da. Ugh. Okay, slag is off the line. Uh, it'll probably still be a while for that one. Um, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, route it down this way. Actually, can I? No, 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 no. Let's let's route it this way, like proper people here. And we're just gonna get the iron ore out of this thing. Now we're going to go kind of up this way and on over. doesn't require that much room. Uh, but one thing that might actually be useful is to make the uh, three casting machines and the two induction and then start producing a bunch of dump pipes. Awesome. Oh, well. All right, so at least some of it is kind of out of the way there. Um, Oh, we didn't make it. Bummer. <laughs> I thought for sure we would make it, but we didn't. So, okay, so now we're just going to hang around and uh, wait as we, you know, wait for the resources. Uh, wasn't there an iron plate or something? Or an iron something? Oh, there it is. Iron ore. That's, like, super, super cool. It, it finally made it. Um, I am going to get these warehouses because I have a feeling that that's where I'm going to be storing a lot of the, uh, the various types of resources that I'm going to use. The good news is, is wherever we end up making like red bottles and stuff like that, we definitely have the, the space in the room for it. That thing is never going to get there. Like, <laughs> I will probably mass produce more transport belts look how many's in there 128 128 wow that's that's just crazy i don't know i i may end up i think what i'll do is i will put a chest up there and i'll feed it every little bit of uh you know, because eventually I do want to replace this factory, you know, at least where possible, um, you know, with, uh, you know, proper belts. Um, 
you know, for obvious reasons, we can't do that right now. Um, and th and that's that's fine. Um, all right, warehouses are done. Um. I like that. It's just kind of, it kind of, you know, I love that. I managed to actually successfully keep up, not just keep up, but outpace it. That's, <laughs> wow, that's sad. Okay, let's, let's move on because otherwise I'm just going to cry from the ridiculousness of that. Um, I guess I'll get wood processing because, you know, wood pellets, you know, I, I don't know. I am reaching kind of point where, you know, I don't want to really use up too many of my resources. Um, okay, so I'm just going to make my blast furnace go way up here. Um, gives me a fair bit of wiggle room um, as far as things go anyway. Uh, da, da, da. Now, can four feed this? I don't remember what I did for the one over there. Because they're not very fast. Um, oh, yeah, I did the whole row. Didn't really need to do the whole row, but that actually makes sense because that thing needs, like, 24 ore, and then it spits out a lot. So that actually makes perfect sense. And I know probably not a lot of people maybe... I don't know. Maybe maybe some people agree. Maybe some people don't. But I actually really like the music in this game. I love Factorio's music. It's like kind of calm and relaxing in its own, you know, kind of weird way there. All right. So we just need to uh, fix this on up. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to drag this basically all the way down. And we're going to dump it both into the induction furnace. There we go. And the reason we're going all the way down is so that we have plenty of room uh, to, you know, send everything. I can't remember... All right, this is four with one in the middle. All right, that actually makes a lot of sense. Um, awesome. It might be slow, but at least it's consistent now. Um, which, you know, that's the main thing is that, you know, it's continuously sending ore. Because eventually, you know... We might end up with a backup over there, and then I have to throw another furnace in, which I'm totally okay with. Um, all right, so I got the, the wood stuff, wood processing. All right. Okay. And now for the final three. All right. Okay. And uh, there might be just enough. If I use one of the yellows, I might be able to just shoot it on over. Because I would like to, you know, reconnect this back, you know, to the, the, the proper manner in which it has... Uh... Let me go over here and just check you know i like my symmetry okay i didn't really put the uh didn't really put that part in but it is just two per so you know it's not bad but i do i, I like my symmetry my symmetry is good 
Okay, cool. It's got its own little bit of symmetry there. All right. Now, will it keep up? I don't know. Will it be too much, too little? I, again, have absolutely no idea. Um, I make an underground. Yes, I can. Perfect. Um, I mean, tell you what. Get out of my way. There we go. Perfect. Eh. Don't really have a lot of these left here. Wow. Um, all right. Next big thing here is going to be, uh, you know, doubling up on this. Um, yeah, there we go. Because this bad boy is just continuously feeding. I mean, by the time this thing is full, it just spits it right out. And look at that. That is just beautiful. And to be honest, this is just backed up. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, you know, we may end up actually, I don't know. I might have to just push this down, uh, which, I mean, you know, whatever. Uh, that's, that's fine. We'll see what it does when we get to it, though. Um, you know, at a minimum, let's just, you know, connect everything up. You know, get, get everything all nice and connected. And, uh, you know, you know, take it, take it one step at a time. Okay. So at least now it's fully connected up and fed. I mean, we're at, we obviously don't actually, hilariously, we don't actually use that much copper. Um, so, you know, the downside to this monstrosity is that it's going to, you know, beat up and connect up over there rather quickly. Um, so, yeah, that part kind of sucks. Because really and truly, the only thing we're using um, that requires any form of copper at the moment. Uh, yeah, we, we just. Wow. Okay, so I think the next thing. How much time do we have? I would say, oh, yeah, we could get started on that, like, straight away, like, pronto. Yeah. Um, is trees. But, I mean, which, you know, we obviously could. We certainly have the resources for it, and that's not really a big deal. Um, I'm going to build one anyway. Um, I'd probably put it over here and pipe down. But uh, in order for the trees to work... I mean, we need a lot of glass, like an enormous amount of glass, which to be fair, you know, I wouldn't really argue glass is not really the thing we have a shortage on here. Um, hmm. Oh my goodness. So, hmm. I mean, these these are pretty simple. You you basically just provide them with seedlings and water. I mean, th those things are like basic as basic gets. Um, and these these things are actually pretty simple. You just insert wood, and then one wood turns into five seedlings, and um. You know, then you send them over to, um, ah, yes. Then, then this over here, uh, turns into three trees. So you do end up making more than you lost. Um, but the big problem is. Hmm. 
Lovely. All right. Let me go over here, grab some carbon, because, you know, there's always a shortage of carbon, you know. I mean, carbon is always something, you know, we're sorely lacking and running out of on a continuously daily basis. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. And this, this is starting to fill up, which... I guess that would do be due to the wow okay um you ever notice how pretty much everything we have here is just continuously uh wow okay um all right fine 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 this is super Still getting, oh, well, I guess I can just shift it over one anyway, huh? Um, I'll just put these a little closer than I normally do. Um, actually, could just do that. Problem solved. Okay, grab out of here. Grab out of here. Grab out of here. I need some carbon. All right. Is this backing up any? No. And, and to be fair, that actually kind of makes a little bit of sense to me because, you know, this, this produces very quickly. Um, if this backs up, though, that could end up being quite problematic. Although I could just you know, grab from the other side and then just pipe around. So I guess it really wouldn't be the worst thing ever. Um, this stuff is all powered, but how much how is powered on? Wow. Okay, so we know what we're going to be doing in the next video. We are going to be building a new monstrosity um, to, you know, power this stuff. Actually, you know what we could do rather than just you know, build a new power plant. Um, we could build the second tier of the steam engine and the boiler. Actually, you know, just realized there's 42, uh, there's 42, we're at the 43 minute mark. Sorry, I was going to say 42 minutes left. That, that would be totally inaccurate. All right, that worked perfectly. The downside is, is that one thing can't keep up. But that should be okay because this can back up quite a bit. Um, Actually, that won't be okay. Oh, goodness. Um, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so now the other one will catch any overflow. That works out perfectly. Okay, so let's go over here. And we're just going to remove, you know, I think I have a fair bit of steel. Yeah, I have a fair bit of everything I need. All right, so let's just grab that, grab that, grab that. And then we will make one new boiler. And two new steam engines. Oh, the boiler was made pretty quick. This literally, you know, produces twice the amount of power. Um, which is always handy. I, I do see this being somewhat problematic. Um, oh, at least once we get reconnect the boiler, um, you know, that part will do pretty good. I just love, I know that it's not super loud. I think because I do a normalization pass. But I just, I just love the way these things look and sound. You know, because, like, I remember, you know, to pull the old man card. Um, I, I do remember, you know, when Factorio was, like, in its early stages of development. 
Um, and, uh, yeah. I mean, this is... This is what you used for a long time before they added solar and stuff. Which, you know, I have mixed feelings about the solar. Like, it's nice, but I just prefer to just destroy the aliens and get them out of my way and, you know. Plus, you know, eventually, to be fair, we will move to nuclear and, and the many, many, many upgrades, um, you know, that nuclear has you know we're, we're obviously not actually gonna stay um you know the the way we are forever of course okay so let's see how much you know power we can actually power or you know how much we can actually have here uh with all of our steam engines ready to roll so we are up to 14.4 we've obviously effectively have doubled our power while maintaining the same size of a power plant, which is always nice. Um, you know, this this needs... This makes... It's doing pretty good. Now, it is going to burn more fuel, uh, you know, largely due to the, you know, significantly increased, uh, you know... Uh, the boilers require significantly more fuel in order to produce the heat that is required to turn and properly uh, utilize these steam engines. That is one thing that's really neat about this game. Like, you could feed it crappier steam, but, you know, you wouldn't really... I mean, you can, you can feed it literally crappier steam, but it just wouldn't be able to produce uh, the adequate amount of steam or power from it. Another thing that's really interesting is you don't have to do a design like this in fact you could wedge all these things together if i had a substation i would um but you could produce the steam somewhere else and then just pipe it to wherever you want a power plant like i could put the power down here and just pipe the steam down now, i don't know why on earth i would do that or why anyone would do that for that matter but yeah that actually made quite a difference actually um you know sending the ore over but unfortunately as you know, everything has shown us, um, yeah, that, that's not gonna, that's not gonna work the way we originally wanted or intended there, um, you know, as far as this goes. So, I think what we'll do is, because I don't really see us needing to expand this portion any, I think what we're gonna do is, up over here, we're gonna build a greenhouse, and because we're definitely not going to expand, you know, further past this point. Um, so let's let's get some power up and over here. We'll just go two max over. Wait, hang on. There we go. And we will begin to get these guys. Now, the next thing we're going to actually need is a groundwater bore. Uh, these things are going to take quite some time. So basically, as you know, you've experienced in the past, you insert seeds. It doesn't give you, it actually gives you a random amount, which is super annoying. Um, then the next thing we're going to need here, I'm just going to do three of these. Okay, how much water does it need? It needs 20 water, so I really didn't need those five, to be honest. One of these bores can effortlessly um Oh goody. Good. Lovely. Uh, I was gonna say, yeah, one of these things can like effortlessly uh you know produce the electricity required for this ugly monstrosity here um so all right i'm gonna have to move this because that's kind of in the way um so we'll carry one bit down and we'll carry one up and this will produce the trees that we'll need super
Actually, no, this... This... Okay, sorry. I was thinking of something else. I don't... I don't actually need to double this up. What am I doing? I could literally just put this up here like so um that like that grab this now <clears throat> the next part that's like coming up here you know, it's it's going to kind of require, like, you know, this takes a long time. Like, you actually need a lot of these bad boys in order to, uh, you know, appropriately do this here. Um, I mean, 60 seconds is a very long time. Um, but if anyone could, like, provide a good method for um, saw blades, that would be really nice like if, if someone could be like hey you know what it's a really good idea for like you know handling like saw blades this because here's the thing um okay it's not there I guess I could do it from my character, but was it there's a thing that I needed for that, was it there? Hang on. Oh. Alright, so I need this first. Okay. Well, this literally takes so long. Oh, yeah, I did need the double stack. Oh, man. I mean, darn it. I mean, it's not that big of a deal because I could just do this. And then this. And this, then this. No. No. Uh. All right. Oh, I hit the wrong button, everyone. I hit the wrong button. Okay. And we'll just, you know, we'll just put this back where it was before. actually you know reverse that okay perfect okay so we do have some trees which i can now manually convert into wood which is nice i guess i mean given that we put 35 in there and all it really did was produce that i mean it does do a somewhat adequate job of uh you know but you know, we do need, so we need farming, and then we need the next thing, and then we get some saw blades. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're just going to mass produce trees. Not very quickly, not very rapidly, because um, this is actually a, this is really slow. Um, but, you know, we could continuously just go down, I guess, as much as we need, you know, uh, I'll probably just do this final reminder Final reminder, final remaining uh, ones right here. Okay, so what do we do here? Uh, the middle one goes here. Middle one goes here. No. We grab. We grab. Can I? Oh, yeah. Nice. Hey, look at that. We got some crop farming. And I realize we're hitting that end there, but I do want to get the trees. Because I really would like to automate this. Um, automation is the name of the game now. Um, I think the only thing these greenhouses can even produce is 
that. Um, okay. So now we'll just branch that off. And yeah, so I'm going to call it here. Uh, so in the next video, what we'll do is we'll finish this off just a little bit. Um, I'll just dump all of that in there because I could just grab these here and then I'll make a bunch more. Oh, yeah. So what I'll also probably do too is, you know, oh, wow, that's okay. Hello there. Um, but yeah, so we're going to end this here. Otherwise, I'll just keep playing and playing and playing. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell down there, you know, if you'd like to, you know, get updates because YouTube is terrible these days. Um, and in the next, we need radar. We really need radar. Um, in the next one, we'll finish off the trees. Uh, we'll probably, I mean, we have most things. So the next one will probably be getting this monstrosity here worked out so that what little tin we do produce uh you know can be sent and you know more of it can be processed and refined into beautiful beautiful tin um we need more bobomium and we also need better mining drills so yeah there's there's a lot of stuff we need uh so yeah i will see you guys in the next one thank you all for watching hope you all have a lovely day